everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you what my baby eats in a day. Henry is now 12 months old. He turned one at the weekend and he is such a good eater. He will try anything and he does eat quite a lot even though he's quite dinky. Everyone's really surprised at how much he eats. He is always baby led weaned because we tried him with a spoon and he will normally just bat it out of your hand or try and grab it himself so we just let him go at it. That brings me on to that this video is also a collaboration with a brand called Bibadoo. They have kindly gifted me a bib a few weeks back and I've been testing it out and oh my god it has been an absolute lifesaver. So before this bib I was constantly removing stains from like trousers even though like I got the full on cape bibs that covered you covered him over he was still dropping stuff like on his lap and it was still staining whereas this bib completely covers the whole table so nothing drops down onto his lap. So today's plans are to have breakfast then we are going to Ikea so we will be having our traditional meatballs and mash at Ikea and then we'll be having a home cooked meal so I'm going to bring you along show you what I make for the children and for us as well because we tend to all have the same thing and show you how the bib works so if you'd like to see what my baby eats in a day then please keep on watching so Henry is all ready for his breakfast in his high chair with his bibadoo bib on ready and we love this because it's really thick fabric and it co completely covers his arms as you can see this bit here is really tight around not too tight but tight enough that food's not going to go up and it fastens around the back here with a velcro attachment so it's really easy to get on and off no fuss and then as you can see under the table it's got this elasticated strap here that fastens in the middle again a velcro fastener really easy and that completely covers him because I was finding before he would he spills food down here so even with this I will find loads of food tucked in there but before we was using this it was completely staining all his pants so this bibadoo bib has saved our lives literally I'm no longer stain removing clothes as often as I was because the stuff for dinners is not needing to be stain removed because the bib is saving us so are we going to get breakfast? Are we going to get breakfast? And when we make breakfast, yeah. So this morning Henry is having some shreddies, a banana, some yogurt and some blueberries. He is such a good eater so he should probably finish most of this off. I do give him a little bit extra than he's probably needed but he always polishes it off so I'm never too sure because he's so dinky. I never really know what's the best amount to give him. So I just sort of put out what I think and then just go with it. Penelope doesn't eat as much. She is a snacker rather than eating just meals. So she doesn't even have as much as Henry. But yes, um, we're using this little bamboo plate which has little suction on underneath so he can't throw it off his high chair. But we do a lot of baby led weaning so Henry will just eat this himself. Um, that's why we need the bib because otherwise there is a huge mess. Is that yummy, Henry? Uh -huh. Are you not too sure about them blueberries? Mm. He needs a spoon. He needs a spoon? He just does it with his fingers because he's a baby, doesn't he? When he's a big boy, he'll learn to use the spoon more. Uh -huh. He's getting better at chewing now, though, isn't he? Because he's got some teeth. Is it yummy? Uh, Ma. Henry has Mama. shreddies like me. He's got shreddies like you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bananas be like yellow. Are you having a go at using your spoon, you clever boy? Not at the back. Not at the back? <laughs> oh, he's got it on the back to front, has he? It's okay, he's learning, isn't he? Yeah. When he's bigger, he can learn at the front. <laughs> Good boy. Baby led weaning makes a lot of mess, doesn't it? Mm. Are you enjoying that, Henry? Mm. Think shreddy. Do you think Henry likes shreddy's best or Weetabix best? Mm. 
We eat a bit. We eat a bit. <laughs> you know, I think he quite likes shreddies. Oh, he's eating the blueberries now. Is it yummy? My yourself. Look at all that mess you've made. It's a good job that wipes off really easily, isn't it? And no stains for Mama to clean up. <gasps> Baba. 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 Oh, messy boy. So we have come out for the day to Ikea and I have wrapped up my Bibidoo bib. It has a little pouch so it's handy to put in your changing bag. So I'm going to put this on Henry now. coming up nicely in the slow cooker I decided to do it in here today because I couldn't be bothered standing around cooking it whereas when you do it in the slow cooker you can just slop it all in together and it's been on on a high for four hours and basically all it is is lamb mince red onion chopped um, like into small like diced I couldn't even think how to say that then um, a tin of chopped tomatoes some Worcester sauce or, yeah, if I say that right, yeah, some Worcester sauce or Henderson's relish, um, whichever you like, some carrots chopped into little cubes, um, I think that was everything, um, some salt and pepper, a bay leaf, if you've got a bay leaf, um, yeah, I think that was everything chopped in there. So usually this would make like a, a cottage pie or a shepherd's pie, but I'm just going to put this on the do some mashed potatoes, some cheesy mash and put it on the plate together and I'm deciding whether I'm going to do some extra veg with it I'm not sure just yet so this meal really is for those mamas and papas out there who really like it speedy I love a home cooked meal but I really wasn't in the mood today I wasn't feeling too good so it took me less than five minutes to throw everything in that crock pot and just let it cook for four hours so it's really simple and easy to do something for like if you was going to work in the morning or let's like say if you've got the kids you're at home you've got the kids running around all day put it in there in the morning or whenever you get a free bit of time and let it just cook and then these mashed potatoes oh my god I ha always have some of these in the freezer for when I cannot be bothered to make them fresh these are frozen mash and they look like this and basically you just add them to a bowl microwave them for a few minutes add some butter you are good to go really quick and they taste amazing to be honest with you sometimes i much prefer these to actually making my own mash um it's just one of those things that like i don't like smash or anything like that but these frozen bags of mash are just really really convenient like I say if you want something a bit more home cooked but you don't have time because you're like getting in from work late or you've got the kids under your feet this is just really easy and then I have these um, microwave veg again like I said I'm having a really lazy night tonight so all of this is going to be like a less than five minute meal really so like those are well six minutes should I say those are three minutes in the microwave this is three minutes in the microwave that was five minutes just doing that so it's really really quick meal I'm not actually really doing anything I'm not cooking that it, that's cooking away and the only bit of effort I had was chopping the onions and putting these things into the microwave so I'm gonna get on with that now and then I will show you it all when it's plated up so Henry's got the stew bit and the mash and the veg which are also quick and then he's got a little yoghurt for afters and Penelope has the exact same although Henry is more likely to he eat all of his because she is a little fuss pot and those little onions in there she'll probably pick out each individual one and the carrots and whatever else because she's a toddler and that's what toddlers do so Henry my sweet little baby who has not yet reached the fuss pot stage will probably devour the whole lot so let's go and see how he gets on. Yes. Is that Henry's spoon? Yes. yes. What does Henry think? Are you sure? You're not sure, are you? Are you just dancing to the music? What is this music that Daddy's put on? <laughs> Look at his little face. 
Are you going to eat it up? Yes. Good girl. Why are you using your spoon for your yogurt? Oh. Oh. This, Billy Billy. It's no yogurt. What do we think, Henry? Is that yummy? Yeah, Mmm. Not this either. This is spicy. I think Henry's loving the mash, aren't you? Should we try some of the stew, Henry? What do you think? He's not merely a fan of the spoon fed, he normally likes to just feed himself. Is that yummy, Henry? Mm -hmm. Is that a big thumbs up from Henry, do you think? Yeah. <laughs> he wants to do it himself. He's a good boy eating his vegetables. Uh, <laughs> Henry is such a good boy, he ate all of his dinner up, didn't he? Yes. And he's getting his yoghurt now. Yes, that will make him big and strong. It will make him big yeah. and strong, will it? Mama. Yeah, if he eats You're a good boy. Food. It will, he ate all of his tea yeah, up. Yeah. Good boy, yeah. Good boy. And he spilled a lot down his uh, bib, didn't it? But it's not gone on his clothes. No. Yay. Clever boy! Henry is being a grump now. We are going to get him ready for bed because he is being extra grumpy, aren't you? <coughs> yeah. So, if you'd like me to do more food related videos in the future, just drop me a comment down below and let me know, and I will try and get some more up for you guys. Thank you for watching my video today and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I will see you in the next one. Say bye Henry. Say bye bye. No, he's not going to do it. He's in a grunt. I will see you in the next video. Bye.